Welcome to Fantastic Plastic, a series of SolidWorks video tutorials presented by the Demonic Group. In Fantastic Plastic, I'll be presenting strategies and techniques for injection molded plastic part design using SolidWorks CAD software. I'm Andrew Lowe. I'm a senior industrial designer with the Demonic Group. The Demonic Group is a full-service product development consultancy located just outside Chicago, Illinois. In this installment of Fantastic Plastic, we'll be taking a look at some ways to easily create screw pockets and screw bosses using SolidWorks. So here I have the uh, backside of a plastic housing and screws go through these two pockets. And the screw pocket itself is a super easy thing to model if you uh, can put it before the shell. So here the part has yet to be shelled. We have a solid block of material. Uh, note that I'm just modeling half of it and I'll mirror at the end. And all I'm doing to create this is uh, creating a simple cut. And then when the part gets shelled, what the shell does is automatically build the other side of my screw pocket. So screw pockets are super easy to do if you have access to that shell feature. Uh, the other thing you can do if need be is uh, I reduce the thickness a little bit just to save a touch of material. I also had some clearance issues in here. So I can use the multi-thickness settings. Uh, I just pick the face that I want to be a little bit uh, thinner, set the desired thickness here, and the shell tool does it all automatically for me. So super powerful, super easy way to create screw pockets in your parts. In our next example, let's take a look at a way we can uh, create an indented boss. Uh, indented bosses are my preferred method of trying to hide sink uh, when the boss is just a little bit too tall and starts getting uh, fat a little bit on the bottom just because of the way the part geometry works. Uh, so here, the boss needs to be created in two features. So there's a uh, solid extrude that creates the uh, outside of the boss and then I need to come back in and using the cut I've actually offset the cut a little bit lower from this surface so the core pin is actually a little bit longer than than this face here and that will just help limit some of the material that will uh, build up here and help uh, prevent sink on the opposite side or the cosmetic side of the part and then the uh, next trick I like to employ is the uh, indented boss See these are refer these have been referred to by a couple different names. I just tend to call them indented boss. So the key here is to capture the outside edge here, and so I can either use the intersect curve or I can create a center line and pierce it to the top edge and the bottom edge using that pierce relation. And what this will do is ensure uh, or capture the angle of the the draft that's been applied to the outside of the screw boss and that I'm adding the collinear relation here so that way this little edge will end up becoming a kind of coincident solid works or merge the two faces. So these tend to be uh, about 40,000 steep or about 40 percent of the nominal wall and then I've seen anywhere between 15 to 20 degree angle. And what this will do is just limit some of the material that's present through here uh, and if we were to look at a section through we're going to want to get a center line so if we were to show this, this will give me a point that I should be able to section through. And I want to get the top plane. Or we'll just drag it up. And we'll see that we've actually limited uh, some of the material here. So we don't have quite as thick a section. And when we actually come back and add ribbing to this part, we'll probably rib this way, rib this way, rib this way, and down and this will add some structure. So I'm not concerned about the lack of material through here because the ribs will tie the screw boss into the main structure but I have eliminated a little bit of the thick section which should help with the, uh, the sink concerns on the primary side. I hope you enjoyed this week's SOLIDWORKS video tutorial presented by the Demonic Group. Please subscribe to the Demonic Group on YouTube by clicking our logo in the bottom right of the screen to stay up to date on new video releases. As well, click the SOLIDWORKS icon to be taken to our website where you can download the example SOLIDWORKS files used in this week's video. And finally, check out other great content by the Demonic Group, Will It Fill It and Surfaces and Splines by clicking the video links on the left of the screen.